Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray edition of Pray for the Devil. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at MovieGuy365. Okay, Pray for the Devil is here on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, released by Lionsgate. It can be found as a slipcover edition available at your local and online retailers. Now, when it comes to the film itself, I've noticed as I've gotten older, I seem to find myself a little bit desensitized to movies that rely on jump scares. And I, more or less nowadays, I tend to gravitate towards films that rely on atmosphere and compelling stories. For Pray for the Devil, it's a lot like going to your local rundown theme park, which is fun and entertaining way to spend an evening, but afterwards you're reminded why you don't necessarily go there anymore. The film is pretty serious. I would even argue a little too serious. There isn't a whole lot of levity, maybe a smile crack once. Um, but the possession story itself, I feel, has been done much better, in fact, even more recently. And I will say the cast is what really kept the film going for me. Our main character, Sister Anne, is somebody who has a troubled past that is trying to help a young girl who is seemingly possessed. Now, what I really appreciate with her is they didn't, the writers didn't attempt to girl boss her character. She's not the best at everything. She's good hearted, but fallible. And she does learn from her mistakes. And I do like the ultimate resolution at the end of the film and how it tied in directly to the girl. And also the supporting cast is made of clergy, many of which are her peers. And also they didn't make them like typical bullies. Like, you know, this is a men's club and you know, you, what girl has any right to be here? So I appreciated that they kept a little bit more realistic in those interactions and didn't, you know, base it off of modern tropes. The movie is not going to reinvent the wheel for horror. It's empty calories kind of a viewing experience, but it isn't necessarily the train wreck you may have heard it was. It's a fine paint by numbers possession story and you could honestly do worse killing off 90 minutes. All right, we're gonna talk about the picture quality and the audio in just a moment, but first let's do a quick unboxing. Okay, we have the 4K Ultra HD slipcover edition of Pray for the Devil, and it's creepy. It tells you all you need to know, so <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. And then we have the pack. It's fine. The interior artwork is the same. And then just some artwork on the 4K and Blu-ray discs. So, yeah, pretty good. Nothing too flashy. Now let's talk about the picture quality and the audio. Pray for the Devil on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray has a 239 to 1 aspect ratio. It is upscaled presumably from a 2K digital intermediate. I was not able to ascertain one way or the other, but I'm led to believe it is an upscale. It also supports HDR10 and Dolby Vision. For purposes of this review, I will be discussing the Dolby Vision encode. Shot digitally, the picture overall is pretty clean. Normally, modern films on 4K enjoy a pristine clarity, but with creative intent no doubt at play, it's rather limited. Black levels are good, but not perfect. In some of the film's darker scenes, there are a few instances of digital noise or even slight elevation, particularly in the third act. With this presumably a 2K DI, details don't exactly leap off the screen, but still show modest gains. Whether it's artistic choice or the camera used, you just don't get textures with incredible depth. Close-ups fare the best with good attention to facial features, freckles, and possession abnormalities. When you get to mid-level shots, that's when things start looking a little bit more comparable to the 1080p resolution. As for color, Dolby Vision can only do so much with this film's muted palette. This is definitely a stylistic intent decision, so keep expectations in check for visual enhancements. Whites, for example, can sometimes look slightly blown out in certain circumstances. When Anne is in the garden, the flowers look noticeably less vibrant, where in most other films, they would be very lush. Pray for the Devil on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray supports a Dolby Atmos audio mix. With this being a horror film, it's expected that the audio sound design would be pretty much a noteworthy experience, and I think for the most part, it certainly delivers. Dialogue reproduction is clean with no issues to report, even during chaotic moments. All the typical supernatural horror audio cues are present. The mids and rears are fully immersive with great atmospheric effects. The height channels are very effective with footsteps, weather effects, and general craziness in the attempted exorcism scenes. Jump scares are plenty, more so in the first half of the film, and when they hit, the LFE will punch you in the gut. For me personally, I would have preferred that they dialed it down a bit. It came across as overly aggressive and pretty much unnecessary in that respect, 
but you may actually prefer it that way. Other forms of low-end activity were more in line, such as when Anne's mother is banging on the door in the opening moments of the film, producing a forceful impact. For the picture quality, I'm going to give Pray for the Devil on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray a B. As far as horror goes, it plays up the atmosphere well with an average-looking 4K transfer. Dolby Vision is subtle in its benefits to color, and black levels can be a little hit or miss. It's not a gorgeous-looking picture, but I don't believe it was ever intended to be. For the audio mix, I'm going to give this one an A. The Dolby Atmos makes full use of the supernatural elements presented in the film. Exorcism scenes and jump scares are impactful and immersive and really have a good energy. If you're a horror fan, this audio will be right up your alley. So that is my review of Pray for the Devil on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. If you're interested in picking up a copy for yourself, I will leave an Amazon link in the comments section. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But if you have the disc already, let me know your thoughts down below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.